Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zoe, and I've been bullet journaling for about three years now. And I'm a senior in high school, and this is the first ever bullet journaling plan with me video I've ever done. So I hope you like it. I've never really edited a video like this, so I don't know. I thought it was going to be fun to try out. So let me know if you liked it, and maybe I'll do more in the future. All right, let's get started. So right now I'm just planning the title page and I wanted to keep it sort of minimal and just very clean so I copied this picture from Pinterest of this one line drawing but obviously I didn't draw it with one line but I thought it would look pretty nice and simple to do so yeah I feel like it needs a little more color so maybe I'll add in more later but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out I think it looks really cute yeah, I chose the koi fish theme because it just kind of popped into my head and when I looked for tutorials online, there weren't really any other bullet journaling videos on this theme, so I thought why not just record it while I'm doing it and maybe share it with you guys. So now I'm just making the habits page. Basically what I did was uh, draw 10 boxes of 10 habits I wanted to kind of work on this month. And I just drew the outline of the shape of the month so I wouldn't have to write down every number for 10 times. That would be a lot of work. So I just wrote the numbers in one of the boxes. And oh, as you see here, I'm kind of messed up, <laughs> but it's okay, it doesn't bother me that much. So I'm just finishing up all the goals, and right now I'm drawing a lot of koi all around the spread, and I drew like a lily pad for the goals, as you can see. <laughs> but you're going to see me drawing a lot of koi fish in this tutorial, and I liked how I kind of sometimes switched up the colors and left some white blanks and I think it looks really cute it's really simple to do if I can draw it you can draw it and yeah so I'm just filling in the habits now some pretty generic ones are like steps and drinking your water or reading but I also have like time spent on my phone and like if I called someone that day And at the bottom here in this empty space, I wrote down my goals. So, and each little bullet point is like a little, little lily pad. <laughs> and one of my first goals is to film this plan with me. So I'm happy about finishing that one. And I'll probably color it in with the green. And as you can see, I'm filling in the habits now since it's already a week into March. And you basically are aiming for a whole filled up box So now I'm getting onto my next page, which is a What I Learned Today page. I did this last month and I really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd do it again. Basically every day you write down one little thing that you learned, whether it's just like a fun fact you learned in school or something you learned about yourself or someone else. I just think it's really nice to keep track of that. And it's fun to look back on what I learned each day. It could be funny things, it doesn't have to be serious, but it also can be if you wanted to. So yeah, just drawing a little more koi fish everywhere. And pretty soon you'll see me draw lily pads that mark a day of the week. And I didn't want to draw lily pads for every single day, so I just kind of left some blank. And I'll know that the day after the 21st is the 22nd or something like that. All right, 
right, so now I'm just planning one of the more traditional spreads with the overview of the month. Each box is about six, six by seven dots. And I use this kind of like rippling, kind of shaky font for the title of March. And I'm also gonna use it for the days of the week later, as you'll see, I'll fill them in. This <laughs> spread is pretty straightforward. Some things I liked about it was that I incorporated weekly goals on the side. So the idea behind that is that you break your monthly goals into smaller chunks and work them out over the month. And it's just a good way to get stuff done, I think. I tried it out last month and it worked pretty well. And I also thought another part that was unique was the way I drew the lines in. I'm actually using a very thin fine liner and just kind of doing a shaky line which made it kind of look like it was rippling in the water. So I just did that twice for every line and I think it looks really cute. So I wrote at the top um, a little header that says what I checked out. So this month I'll probably write in some TV shows I watched, what albums I was listening to, and what books I was reading this month. I just think it's a nice way to highlight what you did that month and then when you look back you can say like, oh I was really into like this music or I was reading this book and so on. <laughs> Now I'm making my first weekly spread, so um, later I'm going to be drawing like seven boxes for the seven days of the week. And on the side, on the left hand side, I'm going to write um, a little events section where I'll write like things I'm going to be doing that day. And like if I have a test that day, I'll write that there. And then inside each one of the boxes, I'll write down like a to-do list each day, like homework I have to do or any other miscellaneous things. And on the right hand side, I'll write down the weekly goals and other little tasks I have to do within that week but not on a specific day. I also included a little quote that says, wherever you go, go with all your heart. And I thought this quote really stuck out to me this month because I'm going to be hearing back from all my colleges and by the end of the month I should have an idea of where I need to go. So I really think this quote inspired me and spoke to me and hopefully I'll keep that in mind as I'm choosing. Here is the final flip through. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed and if you have any other ideas for next month's theme, let me know. I will put the link of all the materials I use in the description. See you next month. Bye!